Wait, uh, where's did he do his acrobatics? Yeah, it was an eight. It was a what? An eight. An eight. Okay, sorry. You don't make it there. You fall prone on the floor over here. Um, do you do anything else? Oh, I don't have Slippy back yet. Hang on. I'm going to do a reload. You are All right. so great for me. So, Slippy, Slippy. yeah. Sorry. If They told me you got an eight. An eight does not pass the acrobatics, so you slip on the ice as you jump down and you fall prone. You still eight. have movement, so you can try to stand, but you can't get as far. Or I can just cast Minor Illusion over myself to look like ice. A lump of ice, I guess. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this wolf, wolfie here, runs in. So that's five, ten, actually. Let's give him. Oops. No, cancel. Give him that acrobatics. He's in the soup. He fucking falls again. Fucking He's Christ. He's in the soup. <laughs> Sorry, I whispered over your whisper. What was your whisper? <laughs> He's in the soup. He's in the soup. <laughs> He's that was just dead. Naimora, what are you doing? Um, I am going to... Oh, please. <laughs> hey, Alex, you're still gray. Oh, oh! You're right. Boy. Okay, hang on. Let's get over to here. Hi. Boy. Well, there's virtual Isn't Alex Gray like a, an artist? Chubby. I am. Exciting. Whoa! I flip back to see your critical fucking hit. You launch this ice knife yeah. where? Uh, at the owl bear. Okay. And. Two wolves within five feet of it also have to do it next save. Yeah, 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 well, no. yeah, you're right. You're right when you're right. Okay, so this freaking owl bear takes 12 damage at first hit. Then the ice, kni ice knife explodes. Um, okay, let's give everybody a chance to maybe not get hurt. Let's see. All right, owl bear somehow dodges uh, the explosion that's coming out of its own chest. Um, <laughs> Crazy. I know. I don't know how that works, but he, he somehow figured it he out. He's a smart puppy. He's like, nah, no. And then a wolfie fails. That's this one. The one in front of you takes the crit dance. Shit, yeah. He's destroyed. Fuck that wolf. I didn't like him anyway. And then the other wolf man gets to do a dexterity save. He tries to avoid it. He gets a crit fail. So, uh, and that's above his total health. So he is also dead by the exploding shards of ice shooting out of this owlbear. The owlbear kind of pulls back from it after the first hit and is angry now. So it is agitated. Um, it, it's its turn. So it tries to run towards Nymora. It has to do its uh, acrobatics and it makes it. So it runs up into Nymora's face and uh, claws at it. Claws at Alex, you. only know the numbers for the rolls. Oh, okay. Uh, 10 to hit. That's its hit roll? Yes, it rolled a 10. And that okay. hit? I'll, I'll pass on uh, cutting words to hit roll. Okay. So oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I don't mean to pause every time and be like, do you do anything? So I'll just start saying the numbers and then you can respond to that. Um, okay. So yeah, it, go, it comes at Nymora with a 10 to hit, uh, misses with its uh, claws. Then it comes to bite you with its beak. 26. <laughs> It's not going to be effective enough. Yeah. So that hits uh, for 10 piercing damage. It bites into Nymora's Hold arm. Um, am I able to, cutting words, the damage roll? Uh, I don't think so. Let me look at it, though. What is this? This is a trait 
you have. Yeah, it's a reaction when a creature that's not even being turned, you can see within 60 feet. Attack roll, builder check, or damage roll, you can expend okay. one use of so. bardic inspiration. Yeah, so you could. I will do that. All right, so roll that, uh, what is it, d6, I think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roll that d6. All right, so you take uh, three less damage, so that is Whoa. seven. Seven piercing damage onto Nymora. Ah. Um, now, Chrysocola, you're up. Yeah, um, so if I try to talk to the thing, is that an action or my e turn? Or? Yes, I believe that is an You have action. a bonus action, it's got to be pretty quick, what you say. Like, collect phone calls, like we always say. Mm. So, like, if, if I try to speak to it and it doesn't understand me, can I still have an action? But if it does understand me, then that's my action. Like, I could just say like- That could be like a free action. You could just be like, calm down. That's like really quick, really, you know. Okay. No, well, I mean, if you want to try to talk to it, you'll be using- Oh, an animal handling check, I feel you. Uh, yeah, you'll be doing an animal handling check and that will be okay. an action. You'll still have a bonus action and if okay. you have anything else that doubles up stuff. So I guess you do technically don't even have to say anything to try to calm it down. You know, you could just try. Right. Uh, do I have, Alex, do I have any kind of advantage for that? Yeah. Should I roll with advantage or? Yeah, yeah, do a, an animal handling with advantage. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. What do you say? I'll be right back, guys. I gotta let the dog. I'm like, oh. hey there, big guy. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. And, like, it it goes from being pissed at Nymora, and, like, its eyes are all angry, and then its eyes kind of let up, loosen up. The, the little anime uh, wobbles form, <laughs> and the little glows in its eyes, and, and looks up at you. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay, big guy. We'll take Ooh. care of you. Ooh. What are you doing up here? Ooh. 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 Uh, Sorry, I'm, oh, I'm back. If you ruined it for me, <laughs> you must be lost. <laughs> All right. Well, well. Hello? Here's the thing. <laughs> These are good people. Hello. Don't attack them, okay? <laughs> uh, okay, so you have officially changed its attitude towards ho from hostile to a little bit past indifferent. Not necessarily friend. I mean, it seems friendly, Displeased. but there's uh, it's yeah. It, there's an extra level to get it friendly. Uh, but do you, do you use uh, movement or bonus actions? Um, I, as a bonus action, oh crap, hold on, I want to use a dive from the pool for Bomb of the Summer Court for Ooh. Nymora. Oh, all right. And, oh crap, I, that wasn't how to, no, I wanted to cast it. It's 3d6, what the heck? Yeah, I think we've had this issue with that before, maybe it doesn't work. Uh, oh, here, click is. the 3d6 in the description. Yeah, there you oh. go. Oh, really? Okay. No, that's 1d6. That was one. Oh, sorry. Okay, so you have, yeah, three potential d6s to give her. How many do you give her? One. Okay, so yeah, then she gets the three. Okay. Okay. Is that. Yeah, that's great. Okay, how much did you lose just now? Ten? Seven. Seven. Seven? Okay. So <coughs> three is decent. Mm-hmm. And decent. Severin. Or do, do you move at all, Chrysocola? No, but I do turn to my party and be like, hey, I think that we might be good as long as it doesn't attack, but maybe ready your, like, um, like, on your turn, ready an action, like, if it does try to attack you, like, then you know, then you try to defend it or something like that. But for now, let's hold off on 
trying to harm the owlbear. And that's it. All right. That's my turn. Severin, you're out on the ice, two dead wolves, bonfire. You're having the time of your life. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to try and get off the ice because ice is cold. Mm, yeah, good enough reason for me. All right, acrobatics mm -hmm. check. And keep in mind, walking over that wolf is... Uh, okay, nope, sorry, you can't move. You take a step forward, you slip and fall on the ground. Uh, so that's five feet <laughs> u used, right? So you can stand up. That's 20 feet used, and you'd have another acrobatics check to try to... Or actually, stepping onto the wolf, you could step onto the wolf without a problem. Can or you I... could stay there. Can I just climb over this wolf while I'm prone to get off the ice? <laughs> oh, yes. You don't have to stand. Okay. So you've used five. You crawl over the wolf. That's 10. So 15. Another five. 20. Okay. So you're there. You have 10 more feet to crawl if you want. I'm going to say, like, I know it's not my turn, but is there a way I can help him up? He's like, he was right next to me, so I don't know if there's something I could do, but... Mm, I think you'd have to wait till it was your turn. I mean, you can ready your movement for when no, Harold no, hit no, with you. I don't worry about it. Uh, I'm going to stand up. You can't. You don't have enough movement to stand up. You need 15 feet to stand, and you only have 10. Jesus. Okay. Uh, I'm going to crawl to here, then, I guess. Okay. All right. Cool. And is that your turn? Yeah, you start that's, it. that's all I got. Coming around this corner, and you, I guess you see a lone wolf near the cauldron, just licking up the soup, loving it, living just the best, his best life. Um, oh wait! What do you mean wait? Nothing. Never mind. All right. Everybody, shut up. Everyone, shut up. Never mind. Shut up, Harold. What are you uh, doing? I forgot oh, no. I could change advantage. I or, forgot they could change flavors. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're right, because your claws. Cool. So you can move. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can I use my action to pick up Severin? Sure. Yeah. Uh, but give me an athletics. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. So you, you lean over and lift up Severin, place him on his feet. Uh, so now Severin is no longer prone. Uh, okay. Do you have bonus actions or anything? Um, none that I want to use. Okay. <laughs> that wolf still just eating that soup. He found like a big chunk of meat that he's going at, and oh man! Wait a minute. See. I don't have wolf. You got wolf. Yeah. Should I okay. reconnect? It took me a second. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you don't have wolf. Are you talking about right. like your wild shape? Uh, what are we? Yeah. Wolf? Yeah, should I? Wolf, where's wolf at? Uh, wolf. I gotta reconnect. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you actually reconnected. You actually did the reconnect. Okay. Well, actually, so this... I didn't have Neve, so I had to reconnect oh, okay. anyway. <laughs> uh, so, Neve, what are you doing? This owl bear is, has run up and attacked Nymora, but Chris Acola seems to have talked it down uh, somehow magically. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little lullaby for the bear on my drum. Lullaby. Uh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You, I mean, you play it a song. It does. It seems indifferent. I mean, it didn't make it mad. It doesn't no taste. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you use a bonus action or anything? Uh, I am going to move, I guess. Move it. Alright. Uh, one second. It's actually pretty cute. Bowbear? Yeah. Oh, you want to see cute? Hang on just one old second. If I want to see cute, I should just look in the mirror. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. Oh, <laughs> have to have to unbreak that mirror first. Is that not the cutest? It's, it's pretty cute. He's a little. What cutie. is this? Where's it? 
is, is that its mouth? Does it have like a duck bill? Yeah, its beak. It's a beak. No, no. I beak. know, but what's the thing in the in the middle then? Oh, maybe he's <laughs> eating a it fish. A beak and a oh, teeth. Is it is its beak open? Oh, what maybe it? its tongue what is open. Yeah. And, and creature mouths. And now oh, you're right. Like how they work. To sneeze. Yeah, his what? beak no, is no, open. My... Oh yeah. <laughs> is that his beard or is that his mouth? No, that, <laughs> that looks like he's no. just like right, like right about to sneeze. I'm sorry, guys. I have um, what is it? Uh, that that thing where you can't recognize faces, but it's only for mouths. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't recognize mouth blindness. <laughs> no, it's like fa fan. No, it's I can't remember it. I know it. Huh? No, no, that that's what is it? Where you see faces and everything. Yeah. It's called pareidolia or something like that. Peri no, well, that's, that's different. Pareidolia. Something like you're probably thinking of face blindness, though. Yeah, but you're not blindness. identifying a face. Like, yeah, when you're, like we're all Cotard syndrome or no, that's where who's it? Who's the tart syndrome? Because pareidolia. Well, that's where you like you think everyone is the same person. Or yeah. if you just see something and you see a face, that's like what pareidolia is. You know, mm. I don't know what would it be if you can't distinguish faces. Oh, yeah. it's prospe It's it's a pros prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia. Perry Mason syndrome. No prosopagnosia. But no, I got it. I got it right. No, I mean I literally I just played a whole video game about it. Well, I just. You know, well, he just it said it, and then self-proclaimed victory. <laughs> yeah. So, boom. Yeah. Wait, what should, let's roll an intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I would that? like to. Yes, against Slippy. Right, let's do it. Wait, which one? Which one should I click on then? Oh, I'm dumb too. Um, Wait, an you can just do a straight uh, intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was a save though. How do I click on it? What is happening? Just right the now? numbers I'm at the top. So you know, confused. I'm not sure. I'm playing along. We'll see who wins and go with it. Well, you. God damn! <laughs> I'm pretty smart. You're playing this okay. game with this party. I don't care what your intelligence check says. It's not true. Yeah, this <laughs> this intelligence check apparently proves or disproves what Chrysocola has Googled. And <laughs> anyway, uh, what is Google? Yeah, so hang on, back back into the world of Ice Cream okay. Dale, Slippy. Google. What is Slippy doing? Um, You're under some fake ice. Yeah, I know, I'm under fake ice. Uh, yeah. Is anyone coming out to attack me? Um, not that you can see. You're under some fake ice. Yeah, well, it's fake ice. I mean, it's I'm, it's not blocking my view. I think it does, but uh, technically, does even it? if it didn't, I mean, it's a fake. It's an illusion. Thing. Yeah, it's. I mean, you it's know. a. You, uh, if it's deceiving to other people, it would be deceiving to you, I would assume as well. But that's not the reason. But you then, don't how see would you anyone. deceive people? If like it's deceiving yourself, how would you deceive people? Well, you well, know that it, it's fake, it and you can like pass through it. You just can't see through it. Okay. I mean, I mean, like I if mean, you made an right. illusion of a box and you were inside the box, it would still be a box if you were inside of it. So yeah, hang then on. I could just like stand up and be like, "Don't care about the box because I know it's not real." Yeah, I mean, so you true. could poke your head, you could move through the wall, and it'd be no problem. So, part of that spell is that you can inspect it and it becomes translucent. So, if you inspected right. your own but thing, that means that that person has to waste a turn inspecting it. Yeah, so that means you have to waste a turn inspecting it if you want to see through Why it. Why would I have to inspect my own thing? Because it's an illusion. Because that's how the rule book is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, you don't have to inspect your own thing. You don't have to be like, oh yeah, I planned this and I have to inspect it now to make sure my Why plan would... is my fucking thing. I, I get that it's your your thing, but like, prestigitation. The flame doesn't look different to you. Like, you're... Yeah, but I can dismiss it at any point I want, or... You know. And then it's gone. Yeah. 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 So if you d dismissed it, then it's gone. I mean, that's not the reason you don't see anything. There's nothing around you. So it's really, it doesn't matter. Right okay. Now, yeah. I but, mean, yeah. None of it matters. Okay. But I mean, if we can have a talk later about how it works and whatever. Um, so anyway, yeah, you don't see anyone around you. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm doing nothing right now. 
Okay, uh, w Wolf, <laughs> uh, you're dead. Okay, sorry, Wolf. <laughs> R.I.P. Wolf. Nymora. Um, so is this wolf on the other side of the soup still alive? Yes. He's just slurping up the soup. Ice cream treat, baby. Uh, and this owl bear is directly in front of me, but it's not me. So I would like to ready a, um, a fire bolt in case the, uh, Owlbear decides to attack no. me. Okay. Okay, if the owlbear no. goes to attack you, you'll release that attack. All right, sounds good. It is the owlbear's turn, uh, and it just kind of sits back on its its butt, its legs out, and just kind of hunches over, just kind of looking around, kind of licks under its arm, kind of <laughs> uses its its beak to kind of scratch itself <laughs> a little bit. Its, its head feathers. spins around. Uh, but yeah, it's chilling. Chris Acola, what are you doing? Um, I move over next to the owl bear, and I actually I move all the way around him to like this side. <clears throat> okay. And I just start petting him. And his yeah his his head starts on one side and as you go around it spins all the way around following you to the other side and you just start petting him up under his feathers and he just starts uh, uh, purring and cooing and uh, give me that animal handling again with advantage okay oh wait I'll just roll again. Oh, come on. Oh, that's weird. One says check and one doesn't. Either way, yeah, no, it totally loves it. And it actually, um, it, it starts to just rub its head against you as you rub it. It leans into the petting. So you know <laughs> that it's totally into it. It has, it is now switched from indifferent to friendly towards Chrysocola. Uh, do you have bonus actions or anything? Um, no. Okay. Savaran, you've just been lifted by Harold and set on your feet. Aww. Okay, so I've been lifted. Now I must separate. I'm going to, um, did I hear somebody sigh in disappointment at that joke? <laughs> I did. I missed the joke, so I couldn't decide. Yeah, I didn't hear a joke. So, yeah, lift, lift joke? and separate. Don't worry about it. So I'm over here now, I guess, looking into the soup den. Okay, yeah, you are right at the mouth of the soup den. You see a, a pool, a puddle of soup, a wolf having the time of his life uh you see chris a cola petting of oh you probably don't see any of this because you're like freaking blind sorry what well you you don't have the night vision so but yeah so no, it looks like wolf, you do see i can't see all this other bizarre shit happening over there it looks like you see chris a cola just like reaching out into the <laughs> darkness and just like rub, <laughs> rubbing her hand a lot Business as usual. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> reaching into the darkness. But, but I do see this wolf suspicious. at the, uh, at the soup jar. Right? You do see the, the wolf next to the cauldron slurping up the soup, yes. Let me get this all figured out. What is that? Which one is watching everything? Okay, so I can. Let's see here. 30 foot range. I'm gonna throw a javelin at this wolf. Who, whose movie is on? Alright, you launch the javelin at the wolf and it pings off of the cauldron and bounces to the side. Uh, but it looks up towards you now, aware that you're there. Okay. Any bonusy? Any bonus stuff? Boners? Um, I don't think I have any that I can use. So no. End of turn. 
All right, end of turn. Harold. Oh, sorry, guys. It's Harry watching the movie. Who? I don't know. He was looking at something else, so I assumed he's the one watching the movie. 30. I'm just coming up behind Savarin, just following him, because we don't have... Well, I guess We're I not... did stand still. I do have feline agility. You... I can Terminator run again. Oh, shit. <clears throat> but, no, I'm, I'm good. I am uh, just making sure that I'm on Savarin's side. All right. Hell yeah. Um. Okay. Dope. Uh, this wolf is now... He turns towards Savaran and growls. Um, Neve, what are you doing? Is that Mickey and Molly? No, they're <laughs> in the kitchen. No, they're outside. Ooh. Oh, that's right, I let them outside. Good babies. Hmm. So I want to try walking across the uh, soup see we have right here oh no the see okay give Jump. me that acrobatics check yeah okay yeah you get it so you can walk it is uh rough terrain so it's twice as much distance but yeah you can okay. move without slippy without slippy without slippy sliping and Sliper, no I'm sniping. not going to attack the wolf yet because we don't know if he wants to attack us yet, but I am going to ready my crossbow at him in case he uh, moves threateningly towards Savran or me or Harold. Who? Okay. Are you going right. to stop resisting when you shoot? Oh, no. Slippy. <laughs> what do you... No. Uh, <laughs> and well, you I have heard a because dragon breath, right? and Yeah, I think you still do. So I'm gonna point that towards the ice, like towards my feet, and kind of like make a rocket, and then do fire. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me. I'm not trying to ruin your your thing, but oh. Um... I mean, it's a, it's a 15 foot cone that I can direct any way I'd like. Did you? Okay. Did you give yourself? Dragon's Breath or create the yeah. bonfire first? No, uh, bonfire was first. Okay, so then the Dragon's Breath and your Minor Illusion is not concentration. I don't think you've done anything. Okay, yeah. Then you still have Dragon's Breath. So yeah, I want to try and point that towards my feet-ish, like kind of like a rocket. Okay, you're just trying to melt the ice? Well, I'm trying to, like, push myself towards, like, up here. Or, well, yeah, right there. <laughs> okay, that, trying to go. That, does, that doesn't... I mean, you have movement, so... Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, I mean, I, but that doesn't, that doesn't work as a <laughs> rocket, although that's really funny. Uh, but, okay, so you're prone. So you could you could crawl over there, I'd say... Even though, technically, when you're prone, I think you're supposed to be halved speed. But I didn't do that for Savaran, so... Yeah, if you want to crawl over there, you can do that. Okay, fine. Then I'm going to be over there. Okay. Do you use any actions or anything? Uh, I guess I'll ready an action if anyone... Uh, if an enemy comes, I guess, like, here, I'll... Uh, spit dragon's breath at him. Okay. Okay, so yeah, if it comes within... And that's a 15 feet cone, so I guess if they come yeah. within range, you'll spit at them. Yeah. That sounds dope. Okay, so that wolf, dead. Nymora, what are you doing? Um, I am gonna, like, try to sidestep around the owl bear, maybe. Um... That. Yeah, you know what? Be technically, if it was a hostile creature, you would not be able to move through its space. But because Chrysocola has changed it to friendly, 
Yes, but it's twice the distance, so that's 20 feet to get through it. Okay, can I, like, ruffle his feathers as I walk by? You want to what? Like, just ruffle his feathers on top of his head as I walk by. Oh, okay. Like a, like a little... You could... Hell yeah. Uh, well... No, I won't. I mean, if you want to roll something, you can, but... I don't think it's gonna get mad about it. So yeah, you just you pet it, and it likes it. It leans into your your petting as well, but it leans more into Chrysocolla's. That's okay. Mine was good. You were just like good boy. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, everything is working like a butt. Uh, I want to cast sleep. <laughs> it's okay. shitting on everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's... <laughs> That's how butts work. <laughs> That's all they do. <laughs> they just shit on stuff. Yeah. Preferably sleep. Hopefully. Sixteen. Okay. Toilets. Yeah. Toilets. He has eleven oh, yeah. hit points. So you and that's what was your roll? Something really bad. It looks like. Yeah, I don't know. It's red. Because you got a bunch of ones in there. You got a one, a four, a one, and a three. Anyway, that's enough to put this the wolf to sleep. Let me just double check. Yep, ninety feet. Cool. Uh, this, this, it's, it's like one of those cute puppies that just falls asleep eating in its food bowl. It's like its eyes just start to get heavy, but it's still slurping. It's like I've got all this soup. If I fall asleep, someone else is gonna get it, and it just keeps, and then just its head falls into the soup, and it falls asleep. Cutie. Uh, and okay. then the owl bear is is just still just leaning up against Chrysocolla. Uh, it's it's readying its action to just go wherever Chrysocolla goes. Uh, Chrysocolla, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I like I like just I guess I could just keep cuddling the bear and, and I'm just hugging on it and Hell just yeah. nuzzling it and and I just kind of like. <clears throat> lean over to like Nymora and I'm like, hey, um, you guys take care of the soup and I'll take care of the owlbear. Deal. Perfect deal. (laughs) Saverin, what are you doing? This wolf was growling at you, but he is now fast asleep. Plop down in the soup. Oh, you didn't hear that. Uh, Wolf (laughs) was going to attack. Now he's asleep. What are you doing? Nothing's uh, aggressive towards you guys. Now we go get the soup. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. No, we nothing's get the aggressive. Soup. Can we just end combat, grab the soup, and leave? Yeah. Well, yeah. Technically, combat is over. So the song, <laughs> bye bye. Um, Owlbear is not aggressive. So yeah, hell yeah, you can try to get the soup. Now, this bowl is like a hundred and fifty pounds. So. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm coming. Over. All right, Saffron. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why I'm in the party. You too. You're gonna be like carrying this fucking 150 pound ball. Let's let's see here. That's fine. I mean, I'm cool with that. How do I how do I roll for strength? Um. Well, let's just say I guess just uh, do an athletics. I mean, it, it doesn't. Well, it technically. Are you so going everyone, to roll athletics? yeah, everyone roll in athletics right now. Except for me, because I got the bear. That's true. Right. What are we rolling it for? <clears throat> um, just. I mean, there's not really a failure. This is just you dragging the pot out of the cave <laughs> back to the uh back to town. Essentially, it's it determines how long it's going to take. So. We've got boom, beam, bomb. Okay, so it takes you maybe what, Chrysocola? Do I take the owl bear with me, or is it just staying in the cave? It seems. I mean, you guys start dragging the the pot out of the cave, and the owl bear seems content on following you wherever you're going. Okay. Um, so it doesn't seem to stay in the cave. It seems to be. Uh, so it heads back into town with me. It as you, yeah as you head back into the town it is following behind. We need to get like owlbear armor and a saddle and like a standard to put on it. I don't know how well this owlbear will interact with common folk. Mm. Oh, like, I know. part of the fun of being chaotic neutral. 
Good well, thing. Yeah. You know, Good considering thing. the fact I'm, that I'm we have a go. fucking slat as a pet, I don't think we have to worry about an owl bear. <laughs> it's a lot bigger, though. But well, we'll get a bigger jar. It'll be fine. I'm chaotic good. So I actually I, I've got some rope and I tie it around like a leash so that people are, like are like are like more aware. But I don't tie it around its neck. I tie it around like its like belly. Like, like a harness kind of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that it's not like it's not like oh, it's more like 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 those kid backpack leashes <laughs> that they have so it's just more like doo -doo -doo. and so plus it wants to stay near me anyway so as long as i keep it near me i think if people see that it's on a leash and near me then and it's peaceful it might be but it might be okay yeah well chris Nicola, give me a persuasion with uh advantage okay they are very interesting it's not even like a bear Okay. Yeah, I mean, with your 13, I mean, Chris Nicola just basically explained she's got this, you know, she's, she, she thinks she's got a kind of a, a handle on owl bears and it trusts that if anything happens, she can handle it. Literally an owl bear whisper since you asked, Harold. I, I'm about to say, I'm trying to use insight to see if she's actually in said owl bear handler. Uh, from what you can tell, yeah, she actually seems to know her stuff. She seems to have spent a lot of time with owl bears, and uh, as she has said, she does seem to be an owl bear whisperer. Mm. Which, we got an owl bear, guys. Which is her? It's her <laughs> secret yeah. from everything. So, so yeah, this owl bear is best buds with you. You guys head back into East Haven. Um, where do you go when you get to East Haven? I guess I don't know where yeah, are you tell me. Yeah, I don't know. Any place that allows pets, <coughs> I guess. Well, well, we gotta drop off this cauldron. <laughs> no. uh, Albert's so ass. I don't really want money. I just want to see who can make the best use of the cauldron to feed people. I want that. I figure. Well, we gotta drop off this fucking owl there somewhere. No, <laughs> no, he needs a name. What to say? He needs a name. Keith Gregory, the owl bear. If no. Saturn gets to carry around a fucking aggressive looking ass dog that popped out, like yeah, this it's not really a one. dog, guys. That's right, just right. great. Then he only gets to have an owl bear. Yeah. So. I guess my recommendation would be we can Hold drop on. this cauldron off to a temple of Bahamut, and I would assume that, you know, they'll, they'll divvy it up. Maybe well, they can wait, give you who, guys some gold. Why did you go? Right. I feel like you went. Did somebody ask for it? No, somebody I did think ask someone it. did, yeah. Asked for uh, not the kid who runs the seance, the other guy. Oh, but I think yeah. we asked, and he was like, I mean, you could just feed a bunch of people. Like, he was just saying that we could go get the cauldron. I don't think he had anybody in mind that we're supposed to give it to. I think, if I remember correctly, he said that it was probably v a valuable piece to a lot of different yeah. towns, and for his yeah. town, he would be willing to pay um, a, a hefty sum. I don't know if he gave you an amount, but... Mm. <coughs> so, yeah, where are you... Are you guys headed towards them? Or, I mean, yeah, you can just... You can give it to someone else you think it could benefit, or... I think that we should give it to the Temple of Bahamut because they are good people who seek charity, and that seems like a nice thing for us to do. Y'all, who is this guy? He's, like, living in my house. He I is my acolyte. Oh, man. What guy? Uh, TK. Oh. Because he's not acolyte. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that's what an owl bear looked like. Okay, sorry. Okay, so you guys are <laughs> yeah, right. speaking about t uh, giving it to the Temple of Bahamut. Okay. No. Um. So I guess you're you're dragging this huge. Oh, hang on. I got to add some time. It takes about six hours to get back. Um. Pretty late. So that means it's about six thirty when you get back in town. Time, yeah. And yeah, you're dragging this huge pot through town. Um, 
And I guess you're getting a bunch of you're getting looks from a number of different people. So uh, I guess where are you headed? Are you looking for a temple? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I don't believe that this town has a temple of Bahamut. Give me an investigation check. Okay. Oh. Because if not, then I mean, you know, well, we can do whatever with it. I just... God damn! Look at them rolls. Um, okay, so I mean, you you spend about an hour asking around through town. Uh, it turns out that no, East Haven does not have a temple of Bahamut, but um, Bryn Shame. Shander does. Bryn Shander does. It's run by a woman named Miss Shan. Well. I don't oh. think it's necessary we have to give it specifically to a temple of Bahamut. It's just I know there are people of good, so that just seemed like a pretty good out. But if we can just use it to feed this town or give it to somebody that we think, I guess, might give us some gold. Well, yeah, that, that good guy our said troubles he would. as well as some people. I'm game. Yeah, let's, Cola. let's give it to the speaker <laughs> and let's ask Kadroth what he thinks. Mm -hmm. Oh, is yeah, Kadroth I forgot he was us? with you. Yeah, I guess he is. I should have had him fight and shit in the cave. I forgot about that. I definitely it's okay. We told I him that we'll take care of it. He, he oh, doesn't need man. to face violence anymore, you know? Well, he's been trying to keep keep track of his, you know, fancy horn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's his daily fancy horn look like, Slippy? Uh, right now, it is a gold and diamond polka dots. Ooh, okay. Gold, yeah. that, that sounds nice. Yeah. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, uh, Carissa Cola, while you guys are investigating the streets, you notice with your passive perception that there's, uh, you just notice a flying snake head out of town heading west. Slippy, get wait, back wait, here! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> do, do I see the snake? Can I see the snake? Uh, give me a perception. Uh, oh. yeah, okay. Uh, let me see perception. Uh, I mean, your passive perception. It's only if you're not actively searching for something. Yeah. Well, his passive is only one below hers. So what? we'll say that, yeah. Well, I'll say that you can see the snake as well. Okay. Well, if I can see the snake, I automatically get to talk to it as a friend. <laughs> okay, oh, well, it's really... Uh, yeah, Potter. maybe you could talk to it, but it's, it's like a hundred feet up in the air. I know, but it still has to talk to me. Like, as a fine... It's a... Uh, Do you have thaumaturgy? It, yeah, it, no, it's a charm. It's as a it's a race thing. Well, I'm so just saying, it, like, it's a hundred feet away, so you might not be loud enough. Do you have, like, thaumaturgy or something where you can, uh, like, okay. make your voice yeah. real loud? Like, no problem. You could probably speak to this in some way, but you're just not close okay. enough to do so. Not close enough. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't. You can't speak through your familiars, can you? Because you couldn't fly up no, there. No, and mine's dead anyway. Mm. Oh, shit. Yeah, remember, it got, like, it got smacked down like the first round before we got in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got to find another bathroom to spend some time in. Right. Well, you know, I just I need another hour. That's it. But, like, yeah, it was that first round. He just, like, went up to the thing, distracted it, and then they smacked him down. And, yeah, that was it. Oh. <laughs> Poor dude. Oh, no, okay. it's long rips. So, Mong RIP. Did you do <laughs> Mong RIPs? Uh, what? Uh, if, I, if I can't talk to him, then I guess, yeah, there's nothing. Or is there a way that you could fly or go to it? or? Uh, let me see. Um, Prestigidation, I could do. I don't think you can do anything far enough. I can fill the air around uh, somebody. Yeah, but it has it's got like a range of ten feet. Oh yeah, it is ten feet shit. Yeah, I don't um, you probably don't have anything you can do. And here, let's see, an old friendship's only thirty feet, so I couldn't do it anyway. Yeah. Alright, yeah, never mind. You could shoot it, it down, man. Yeah. Well just remember, like, there's a snake. I'd like to be his friend if I run into him anymore. Right, like hey, I know that snake guy. He looks like a good snake guy. Totally. Okay, so you'll so, be you recognize him, and next time we see him, you'll be able to tell who he is. You'll be yeah. like, oh, yeah. it's that snake guy that yeah. we saw before. All snakes <laughs> may look the same to you, but to me, you know. Yeah, he I knows know. the nuance between slithers. Yeah. 
Hey guys, Owlbear is getting a little sleepy. Um, <laughs> can we can we find a place to rest after? And then can we? Where what are we gonna do with the soup? Um, we're gonna give the soup to the speaker, I think. Okay. And I don't know if we can have the owl bear in an inn, so we could try to make a camp somewhere or something. Uh, let's try and talk them into letting the owl bear into the inn. Yeah, I will definitely be doing that. I think we should start by trying it, and then if you're well, like, we uh, should sell no. the we should sell the soup to the guy I'm, so that we can bribe him with money and just be like, hey, it's worth it. I'm not the bard this campaign. I mean, I oh. I don't know what I, know the, I don't know what we can do here really with the fucking <laughs> owl bear. It's twice the size of an SUV. Uh, maybe we can get a king size bed at the local inn. Actually, I was just gonna cuddle on the floor with the owl bear. And in fact, um, sometimes when they lay on their back, you can kind of crawl up and use their belly as a nice little bed. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys. Oh, you know what? And now that I think about it, Neve feels the need to perform as soon as possible. Neve wants to bring her, the classic song "Potatoes" back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, hang on. Are you guys going to I an inn, or are you going to, <laughs> or are you going to sell the pot first? We should sell the pot first, and then go. Yeah, go hey, sell pot. I'll be a pot dealer. Yeah, pot dealers. <laughs> okay, so you guys st go back to the town hall, which you know all too well. Um, you you step in, the doors are open. You can uh, you can make your way back to the room where your tokens already are. Um, turn this audio off. Um, and they're oh, cleaning man. they're cleaning shit up. Uh, they're sweeping up the chardolin and they're they're cleaning shit up and the speaker Danith is there. Oh, welcome back. Do you hear to uh there are brooms over there if you wanna throw in a hand. I'm yeah. gonna go pick up a broom. What kind of oh, hand yeah. wanna throw in? Thank hey, you. everything's gray for me. No. How about now? Still gray. Oh man. Up. Uh, that's. Well, you know what? Maybe I because like I don't even see Chrysocolla on the map, so. Dang. You got Chrysotolda. Chrysotolda. How about now? Yep, I'm in there. Boom. All right, cool. Hello. So you all come into the main room. They've probably taken these bodies out of here already, but they're sweeping up the chardolin. Where's Albert? Oh, he's there. He's uh, pushing. He's pushing his way through this door back here, and he finally has made it through. And now he's in this door, but he's just kind of stuck. And just hanging out there, peeking, peeking through the door, looking around. Um, did you fuck? Did you have any luck? I know you. I feel like you went looking for the the big bowl of infinite soup you had mentioned. You see it? Given the pounds. What? Right. Wouldn't he see that we have it? Uh, sure. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so stupid. It's very large, and it's right there in front of me. I am... <laughs> wow. Now, my question is, is what what is the soup actually made of right now? Is it still made of people? Because There's that nothing. could be a problem. It's empty at the moment. Ah, good. Right now, it's stem cells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Holy shit, man. Okay. Um... So you are, are you looking for us to take this off your hands? I, I'm sure this could feed a lot of people here. I'd be willing to pay. Well, that's why we brought it. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. Look, I'm gonna have to gather them the the funds together. I can I can give you f five gems that are worth 
like 500 gold apiece. You're Can muted. I You're muted, roll? Kevin. I can't hear Kevin. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're completely, completely muted. No one can hear you. Kevin. I was gonna say, can I use insight to see if he's there being honest? Yeah. Uh, what What did he say that you're rolling insight? On? I just want to see if he's gonna use this to feed people, like instead of just using it for like his own personal oh, okay. gain. Yeah, roll insight. Yeah, for his own soup to see if these gems are actually worth 500 gold. Is he gonna sell the unlimited soup for five dollars per gold or five gold per bowl, and gold then make bowl. a profit off of it? Um. So yeah, actually, this guy. Uh, I mean, given you're in a town where pickpocketing is legal, but right. um, okay. the, the the speaker does actually seem to be a good person and does have intention to feed people with it. Okay, I'm gonna let him know. I'll be like, I trust you. I trust you with this bowl. I don't need. I'm like, you guys can take these gems. I don't need gems. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, then so it the splits up is... even like one gem per person. Yep. Uh, but I, I don't have them. I'm gonna have to gather the gems. I, I'm gonna oh. have to collect. You the kinda, I will pay you Tuesday for a burger you serve me today. Shit is this, dog. Look, I didn't yeah. know you were officially taking the job. I, you can keep it, or we can guard it here. But look, I need two days to gather the funds. I may have it sooner, but a, at least a couple days to get these gems together. Well, as the strongest man in, what town are we in? Cared East, we in East Haven, right? And East, East Haven, Haven. Was murder for that, As right? the current strongest man in this general vicinity, I am not Shit. carrying this fucking jug around or cauldron around for the next two fucking days. So. Uh, that's, that's quite right. Maybe I you should you should uh, definitely provide room and board for those two days of inconvenience. Oh. I can, you know what? I can definitely pull this, and uh, we can we can guard it here at the town hall. I'll I'll assign four guards to it. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I, I can get Bataban to give you rooms for free for doing hey, so. Hey, can you make sure they're the smartest guards? Because we fought some Durgards in here, and <laughs> this doesn't really seem like Durgard. the, the you know, safest Durgard. place to keep something. Yeah, you get it? Durgards. Durgards. Durgards, you get it. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes I actually tell jokes without even realizing it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, like I earlier. Okay, so whenever I said write the letters, and then I I typed A on accident, and then you guys typed B and C and D, and I'm like, oh, not those letters, but that's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I assure you, we'll get the brightest in the bush to to do this. Is that a phrase? The sharpest <laughs> knife in the crayons. We're getting the brightest vagina soldiers. This. We're the. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. The, the cream, the cream of the corn. I feel like I'm in a cream, vomit. Cream, cream. Is the there any Easter. like magic we can cast on the cauldron so that if it's taken from its place in the next two days, that something would happen? Like some sort of trap we can set so that it can't be moved by anyone but us. Mm. I'll tell you what. I got a bedroll, right? I can just be the guard for two days. <laughs> What, I mean, what are you guys going to do for two days? Just go fucking drink, probably. Yeah, I was going to maybe yeah. do some fishing. But... Yeah, I was going to just... <laughs> you say do a drink mission? Drink for four hours. I mean... All right, I'll do a super long rest. But I, I was going to say, so East Haven was where those murders happened, right? Yeah, yeah. so we could, do, we could rest we could... and then do some investigating. Investigate and maybe try to figure that out while we wait two days for some jewels to be procured. More importantly. More importantly is just getting paid for you guys, yeah. Just get no, getting getting some rest. <laughs> I don't have any I like I don't have any spell slots left, so Oh if, I got you. I got yeah, you. we won't I won't be able to literally do anything except for Thorn Whip. Yeah, so I like, got like one I've got two spells left actually. Oh I've got, yeah, no, I can actually do a lot of damage with these two spells, so Yeah. Oh, well, I would I would love to go rest. That sounds great. Okay. Rest would be a lot better, though, yeah. Hey, Speaker, where well, are you putting us up for the night? The, well, the best... The, the White Lady Inn, of course. I think you guys... 
have stayed there before. Waterman, of course. best place What's in town. What's wrong with the black lady in? Um, there, there isn't one. There's yep. nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's just we don't have one. Oh, it doesn't exist. Okay, well then. <laughs> All right, that's fine. <laughs> you're, you're just like, oh, like condescending, like, oh, so you don't have a black? Wow. Yeah, okay. No, oh, get it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, whoa. Cancelled. Do I have any? Racist. I probably don't. Can I go to? Maybe we can go to a tavern and get some ale, and if we drop it in the cauldron, it'll just keep producing ale. <laughs> <laughs> you could try. It's up. You could try. Who knows? Hey, Does right. anyone have identify? Much. No one's identified the cauldron, right? No, I don't have identify. Well, I or just wanted to say to the group real quick, and I wanted to hold out my uh, like this this little chip that I had, and be like, by the way, guys, I don't know if you remember, but I I had quite a bit of a drinking problem, but I just wanted to say I've been you know thirty days sober, and I hold out this little chip, and I'm like. Do you remember at the beginning whenever I was all like, yeah, yeah, yeah but now you know, I'm not going to acknowledge this in any way, shape, or form. Why? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look confused and be like, has it been thirty days? <laughs> <laughs> <Has> it... <laughs> and then I unwrap it, and it winds up just being <laughs> chocolate, and I start eating. It. <laughs> that's that's exactly why I wasn't going to acknowledge it. I knew it was going somewhere dumb. It'd be funny if the if the chocolate coin was like a a token for not like eating a, like, chocolate, a chocolate like a chocolate <laughs> a holics anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I got. You. I thought you meant like it was like how they have like those liqueur candies, like the chocolate ones that like are infused with like alcohol. Oh, uh, though yeah. it could be. I was yeah, the maybe for alcoholics. I was switching it to be like, like a chocolate shit. problem. Yeah. Anyway. A, a chocoholic. Yeah, you like you have a chocolate problem, and then you hold this piece of chocolate that's just like tempting you, but you hang on to it for as long as you can, and just be like, <laughs> I didn't eat it. Like that SpongeBob episode with <laughs> where they have chocolate. <laughs> so what are the games that we're supposed to play now? What's the, what's um, the okay, game so plan? yeah, what are you guys doing? You guys go back to the inn, I guess, right? That's where you're going, get yeah. some sleep. Well, TJ, are you sleeping by the cauldron or are you just going to the inn? Um, I'll go to the inn. Okay, yeah, we, need to to send some, we need to send at least two of us to check on that cauldron every couple of hours. Well, I need to get my new uh, animal out here. Yeah, you uh, could. You could don't talk your... about Gadroth like that. Yeah. <laughs> that too. All right, so I'm just gonna. I did just I drag you guys here already? A big old poop. Oh wait a minute! This giant rat. I totally fr fucking forgot you had the giant rat with you. No, That's no, supposed no, to last gone. for a day. <laughs> like, it, it disappears like after like dusk. So I, I think it's been like a day. I don't know uh, if it has. I think it's, I think it's the same day. But whatever, I forgot. Okay. And you're yeah. about to sleep, so it will be gone. So, okay. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so you guys all go to the inn. Uh, Speaker Whalen walks you there, and and talk. He talks to Bartaban, pays for your rooms, um, and then you, you all go back to the rooms to go to sleep or do whatever you want to do. Uh, Slippy can be alone and create his new animal companion. Hell uh, yeah, I'm about to fucking. Play. What, what about, time is it right what now? What about Owlbear? Well, yeah, we're we're okay. So yeah, let's let's touch base on that. You come to the the front doors. Oh, you were gonna even convince some people. Yeah. So you come to the front doors and you try to enter. You what do you try to do? You try to bring the owl bear just right into the place. Yep, I act like it's just totally normal. Like, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, wait for someone, I'm gonna wait for someone to stop me. Whoa, 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 ma'am. Um, I know you were a penguin before, but that's kind of more small and fits inside. What, what do you think you're doing? Uh, so, in, in context to what? <laughs> Are we yeah. all here? Ma'am, you're, you're bringing a wild animal into the, to the inn here. 
And I assure you, Sovereign is potty trained. <laughs> yeah, yeah not... you said about the one black guy in the party. Look, I know. Look, I I know I have the issue with people shitting in my beds and and you and charging people extra because we talked about this, but that's not what I was worried about. I'm worried about. The, well, look. Yeah, now I'm thinking about it. This animal will probably shit in the rooms as well. But that's. It's just so big it's it's gonna freak so it's freaking me out that's what she said if, if, what did she say if we are there can <laughs> i, can I, so try, to him? Can I try to convince him i'd be like man she literally has worked with owl bears her entire life she just told me all about her experiences of being an owl bear master the whisperer of owl bears like you're, you're talking the most, it's the most well-behaved owl bear i've ever met and i've met a lot of owl bears yeah. And also, the master of owl bears protecting or like guiding one of the most well-behaved owl bears is pretty much a recipe for success. Come on, man. Is this is this true, ma'am? You're you're the yeah, best. Yeah, just watch this. Watch I don't this know. Can I, I like go and I pet I pet the owl bear and like can really I try to play like him? nuzzle and like show how like adorable he really is? Can I try um, to persuade him? So, yeah, well, I'll have Chrysocolla persuade them with advantage because of Harold attempting. Hyping her up. Yeah, hype, hype man. Hype man. Oh. Oh. But you got well, with, with advantage. With advantage. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm holding. It's shift, right? To do advantage. I thought so. I'm not helping at all. Sure, sure. <laughs> Wait, persuasion, right? Mm hmm Oh! Okay. Oh! 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 Oh!
scratches you, you see behind his the horn? ear. He's too sexy for you. <laughs> I, I am going to step over to Harold and put my hand on his shoulder like, that's my man. <laughs> you no, know, hey, I'm, cool, I'm too cool. sexy for this horn. I There's wouldn't plenty like taking of off. pussy to go around, guys. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> okay, you know what? You blew it. That is crass, and I, I'm not into you what? anymore. I'm a cat. No, he doesn't like that. He does, cat draw <laughs> goes to bed. <laughs> that's a that's the deal breaker with cat draw. Right. Like, oh gross. Wow, I'm more sophisticated need, uh, than that. Open our group anyway, you son of a bitch. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, whoa. hold on. No, no, no. Whoa. That's not very Papa tight of you. Hey man, you well, need I'm to go. You, no, room. no, no. You you're go. Right. I guess you're right. You make this right. I'm changing my alignment on the uh, chaotic good now. <laughs> okay. That's what I am. I I think I can justify it with all the Bahamut worship and also trying to do the right thing twice in two games. I think so too. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Cha chaotic good. You know, so, it's a low bar. I got there. Does anyone else do anything before going to bed? Chrysocola is curled up with the owlbear in the back corner. It looks like Wait. Nymora and Neve are in a bed. Slippy so sitting on his bed. The one question that I had, um, yeah. that I don't think we saw on server. What time is it right now? It's like uh, it seven is seven or something, right? Yeah, it's nine thirty time. Um, I asked the uh, the innkeeper, or whatever, like, "Hey, I'm down to play a little complimentary mini concert on the house. What do you think?" Whoa! Um, okay, look, I would love it. Look, you're more popular than Ronaldo, but Ronaldo is kind of the in-house guy. Um, you could. But didn't you hear the potatoes? Were then I go up to Ronaldo and like, hey, Ronaldo, want a jam? Ah, a jam immediately. A jam? You say a jam then? Oh, yeah. I'm. It, it, I. It's both player instruments and sound good. Battle whoa. of the Bands! Battle of the Bands! What do you play? Drum. Oh my. Whoa. Who am I talking? Oh my god. I didn't even realize it was you. Whoa. <laughs> celebrity. Oh, you. Yeah, you that's guys. Neat. Oh, right. Well, we're not going to play for anyone, but I'd love to jam. A little jam oh, yeah. sesh. A sesh of jamming. Yeah, it's hell not yeah. True let's do it. In life. Let's do it. What what are we playing? Uh, I don't know. You play whatever, and I'll accompany you on the drum. Oh shoot! All right, I'll. Uh, you follow me. We're gonna be in B playing B minor on your drum. Yeah, I, I will tune my drum to B yeah, minor. Yeah, tune your drum to be in B minor. Place. Make sure. Um. All right. Let's. We're gonna do it. Um. Okay. Do a performance for. There's like nobody uh, there. Oh yeah. It's late. But. You do oh. you do one of your best performances, and actually, even though it's nine thirty at night, the sound. I assume you're playing potatoes. <laughs> well, no, we're playing uh, one of Ronaldo's songs. Oh, you're playing okay. So you're playing one of Ronaldo's songs. So yeah, no one no one ends up uh, coming to the bar, but it's a really good. Well, actually, a couple people just step in to see what's going on. It sounds pretty good, but it's not a song that they necessarily recognize. A couple people come in. And kind of, they throw you, you get 15 gold, probably, from your performance. Well, what I was going to do was, after the first line, I'm like, hey, Ronaldo, I got this, uh, you know, really popular song. Might have heard of it called Potatoes, but I think I want to play again. Down to join me? Oh, man. Um, I might be ready on March 15th, but <laughs> other than that... Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> that's when Potatoes <laughs> come back. Uh, yeah, I know. All right, sure. Yeah, I'll follow you. You set the beat, and uh, I'll just play along. This sounds great. And then, sure. Oh no! <laughs> it's the worst performance of the Hang on. D do it with advantage because Ronaldo is okay. backing you up. Maybe he's covering uh, some of these. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo's just like. Maybe, maybe it was best that you retired this song. I don't. <laughs> This isn't how I, I remember it. It doesn't it. matter how bad they are. People always love them for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Uh, True. So you know what? You play the song horribly, but that doesn't matter. People start flowing into the bar and crowding crowding around the stage. Uh, but by the time you finish, they're all just kind of like 
What? What? And this is really why are they the bathroom for some reason? What is this? The Rolling Stones at the Super Bowl? Like, oh, this is wow, bad. That was a weirdly specific reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So, but they're all there. Uh, they just they don't give you that much money. They give you maybe five more gold. So you get twenty gold total. Your buttholes. I know. Um, I give five gold to Ronaldo and five to the innkeep because I'm feeling nice. Oh, uh, you can be chaotic so too now. No, I'm. I'm. Trust me, I'm going to be very evil next session. <laughs> oh boy, I don't get tipped that often. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> so evil. Now I can I can go buy some stuff at Torgs tomorrow when they come into town. Oh no, don't oh, do that. Don't do that. Uh, you don't like Torgs. No. Uh, well, among well, people who buy from Torgs usually <laughs> end up dying violently, and it's not, no, but, not because of us. Well, I thought we yeah. were upstairs, right? Oh That's yeah, a, we're upstairs. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't hear yeah, that you happen. you guys aren't there. Well, the whole group says nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. Well, thanks <laughs> for the gold. Enough. Thanks for the performance. Um, you know, you just probably it's just give it some time. You'll and some practice. You you'll it's been a while since you've played potatoes. I'll play your potatoes. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole, Sp speak for yourself, the whole group. <laughs> I just imagine like Slippy the Snake just playing with actual potatoes, like like, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 you get it. Okay. You're it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so you guys are going to sleep here. Do you guys? Does anyone else do anything before you go to sleep? I just want to pray before I go to sleep. I brush my teeth. Okay, you I brush cry your teeth. A little bit. Uh, pray. pray Savran cries a little bit because he couldn't get a bed next to Harold. Um, I'm glad you understand my character. Yeah, definitely. And okay, well, you go to sleep for eight fucking hours. Wow, it's five thirty in the morning when you wake up the next day. Hell yeah. Um, we have ten minutes. I don't know what you want to do, but you tell me. I'm gonna get rid of that morning wood. Oh All right. my god. How no. do you, how do you do it? Oh, well, oh, no, Slippy, he's gonna he's gonna chop no, down for the, the no, morning campfire. No, no. What the morning camp? Yeah, the, the delivery of wood that's coffee? delivered every morning. Gonna... He's chopping it no, up for no, the campfire. We're not having this conversation. You guys can role play this on your own time through your private encrypted end to end DMs. I was just, every morning. I, I don't care. We're not I think there's a miscommunication here. Right? It's just yeah. the wood that arrives in the morning. We're not. No, yeah. I know it's not mine, prepared. but I see if I can. Use I'm it leaving the inn, and I'm. Yeah. I'm going somewhere else, far the fuck away from this. Okay, <laughs> Sav yeah, Savran hears euphemisms and is just not having it. He's like, right. it's too <laughs> early for this, I'm out of here! And then he storms out of the sleeping area. Yeah, I'm, I'm very loudly stomping my way out into the, uh, into the, the town to go check on our fucking cauldron. Okay. Okay, so you yeah you go to the town hall, um you you go inside. It looks like there's a, a number of guards. A number of them are asleep, but one of them is still awake, and they they nod to you, and you you uh, s confirm that the the cauldron is still there. Good enough for me. Can I see if this inn has like complimentary breakfast? Like what continental? Uh, oh yeah, it's five thirty. It's it's. It's, it's probably early enough, so you go out, and they ran out. There's not, there wasn't enough. Can I order like an omelet or something? Can't. can't yeah, actually, you ask about it, and they're like, "Oh, you know what? We're not really out. I just put, I just put it away. So uh, here, let me give this to you for free. It's part of the breakfast." <laughs> <laughs> And then he See, goes to the back room, and then get, and then comes back right. out, and is like, you know what? Uh, someone threw it away. I don't. Oh my God. But what you know you what? But he says, but <laughs> I made my own plate right here, and I haven't eaten it yet, so I'll just give that to you. So then they give you that plate. 
Wow. Okay. Good customer service. Okay, well, I'm just chilling out here eating my breakfast. Boom. And it tastes delicious. Eating somebody else's breakfast, in fact. Well, they gave it to me. Oh, yeah, hey, he gave it. It, it became hers. Can you make it so I can move Ollie Bay? Oh, yes. Well, uh, well. So we can come out and hang out? I am I am hurt that the owl bear gets a token and Tad does not. Look, well, already has one. the owl bear just... exists. Tad does not. What? I hate you, DM. Look, you're lucky that Tad even exists. Tad is supposed to be a one-off thing and then he's gone, but you kept him as a pet, so <laughs> you lucked out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, nice. I can move him now. Yeah, I changed him to you. Oh, no. All right, sweet. So, yeah, somebody somebody, tell me something. What? We got five minutes. Oh, uh, what am I going to tell you about? We're stuck Anything. in the hallway. You, you create a, the your familiar? I assume you create a familiar. What do you oh, create? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's about like an hour I got to, I got to kill. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> also make it seem like there's just a wall there, and there is no other room. Oh, in your room? Okay, so yeah, Slippy closes himself off. He likes to be by himself when he creates his familiar. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. It's it's the same method he uses to get rid of morning wood. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> which familiar do you create? Uh, I'm gonna do owl. I guess you can click the thing, but whatever. I'm already, yeah. I already have it open, so I did it. Okay. Cool. So you, you hear the, the owl in there. Um, okay. I don't know. Does anyone like, do anything damn. significant? And if not, what are you aimed towards doing the beginning of next section? <clears throat> do you guys go out into the streets? Because Torgs has oh. arrived, is arriving when you go outside. Oh, is it? Yes. We should visit Torgs whenever they open today. Okay. So yeah, you guys, I guess you guys go outside and you watch the caravan uh, come in and unload into the town center and start setting up shop. And you just, you wait until they open the next day uh, where you can go and I guess ask some questions to follow up on this murder mystery that you had heard about. Do you want to leave off there and pick up where we start asking yeah, questions? That's and actually, stuff? yeah, a good. Sounds perfect. Yep, right. that's a, a great okay. cliffhanger, and we can, I'm sure, use the owl there. Yep. Hell yeah. I can't. I'm still my so owl hurt. Bear. You, Anything. And then that doesn't exist? Ah! My heart! What doesn't exist? Tad! Tad exists, or, but look, I was gonna draw exist. a custom picture that combines. The slad creature and a, a French bulldog, uh, but I haven't finished the art yet, so. I don't know yeah, how I believe that. I want to play Minecraft. What? I'm gonna go play something too. I, so me I'm too. Be on Minecraft if you guys want to play some Minecraft. Minecraft, huh? Maybe. Send send me the link to the server and maybe. It's not Java. It, it's uh, oh, Bedrock. Right. Bedrock. Uh, What's that mean? I don't know what that means. Is that a PC version? Yeah, so Bedrock is everything that's not Java. So if you run mobile, if you run Switch, if you run PlayStation, everything or that Xbox, is PC. Yeah. No, everything oh. is not Java. So you can so the, play the bad you can version. Play, you can play Bedrock on PC. Yeah, but, but I don't. Java I think I have the, other than the Java PC. version. The Java it's version's true. better though, right? Java version has like redstone. Java. And the, Java well, has sure. they, they all have redstone now. Like they, they all have everything now. Java has three skins. Java has got a lot more stuff. Java has three skins. All it is is Java has three skins. If you can find something, you no, can download redstone, it. No, redstone. Redstone works completely different than Java. It does not. It does. I don't know if it works it completely. And Java has updates before Bedrock, and that's it. But like everything works the same. Like everything's updated now. Java hmm. and Bedrock. Redstone do not work the same. Last time, last I heard. Well, they may have updated it. I guess they've done a bunch of upgrades. I, I know that it was very different at one point, but yeah. they've added a lot of stuff, so I don't know. But I'm on Java, yeah. so unfortunately I don't think I can play with you. 
I'm on the there Windows 10 version. That's that's that rock. Oh, I can play with you guys, but I don't want to tonight. I'm it's kinda okay. angry. Yeah, I could play with you, but